So first we're going to start out by making the chassis. You don't have to do this, but I'm going to add another battery on so that it equals 10 volts. Well, it really doesn't double up the power, so I figured out later on that it doesn't make much difference, so you don't have to do that. And guys, it's very important that all the wheels spin in the same direction, of course, so make sure uh, one gear has to be like lined up over here and the other gear has to overlap this axle in order you know, to get to this side so that when I spin this, they all turn the same direction because if they were all over here on the same like areas, then they'd be spinning in towards each other and it wouldn't move it forward, you know, so just keep that in mind. And guys, don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell not to miss my new videos. Okay, let's get back to the video. So instead of the simple switch, motor, and battery circuit, I'm going to add a receiver to it so that I can control it. Since this gear mechanism can be fragile, especially if you bump into a wall or something and it can chew up the gears, and it's really good just having an RC. So guys, I recommend not just having a switch, motor, and battery, it's, uh, it's much safer having a receiver and a transmitter so whenever you know it's gonna head into a wall you just stop you just lower the, uh, the stick now let's make the body of the formula one car Thank you. 
And I just want to shout out Mr. A for giving me this really cool idea, which is when you put some of this white school glue onto your cardboard and you place a thin strip of cardboard, peeled cardboard, onto the crack, you know, or the connection point, and it literally looks like it's one piece. So I'll be doing this technique all over my car, covering up any cracks or connection points in the cardboard. So now that you've attached your mirrors on and steering wheel, you can either leave your car like this, just a cardboard look, or you can paint it with some red oil based paint, which is what I'm going to do. So as you may have seen, Formula 1 cars have a lot of branding on them, many different stickers of different company names and stuff. I'm going to do my own branding by adding Max Imagination to the car. Oh yeah! Alright guys, that is all for this week's video showing you how to make this remote control cardboard four-wheel drive Formula One car. Hmm, that's a lot to say. <laughs> yeah, so, and I gotta say, this was one of the most exciting projects I've ever made on my channel. And if you enjoyed this video as well, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching guys. See you next week. Peace!